Aries, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. First, we start with an oracle card spread, which is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So this is for Aries energy. So you could be Aries sun, moon, or rising. Or you could have your Mars in Aries, your Venus in Aries. It doesn't matter. Wherever Aries influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes and energies for the next week or so. It's not time stamped. I mean, I'm sorry, it's not dated um, because, well, I threw away dates a long time ago because I've been still getting comments on videos that I made in August. So I figure you get the message when it, it's supposed to come to you. But if you want the message when it's hot off the press, click subscribe and click that bell so that you get notifications of when the new videos get uploaded and then you can see them every single week when they're hot off the press. Um, Aries, there's always an extended video. So if you want a little bit deeper, more articulated, more personal reading, that link is, that's all in the, um, extended, uh, that's all in the extended video, uh, with a full tarot card spread and includes a romance reading as well. So that link is below and it's in the comment section. Let's get right into your energy reading. Aries, 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 Aries. Aries energy. I don't know. I've been feeling some real pop offish, like real fiery, real, I want to punch people energy. So I've been concentrating and focusing on you guys all week. Um, now that could mean, it doesn't mean pugilism, right? It could very well just mean that you're getting things done and you're fired up and that you're all about progress uh, right now which is a wonderful energy to be in as long as it doesn't include any kind of outward violence. But let's see what's, what's making you guys, what's inspiring you this week. Aries, Aries, Aries energy coming through for Aries, please. Aries, Aries. Crowning your energy is know your worth. Something's been compromised. A compromised sense of self, a need to uh, a need to remove yourself from the pleasures and approvals of others. A need to rid yourself of anything that may have armored you in um, social acceptance or armored you with social acceptance. There is a necessity to shed that skin and let your stink out. Um, so you very well could almost be having some sort of epiphany as we approach um, um, the end of Pisces season. We're heading more, we're, we're heading toward Aries season. So there is an understanding of oneself and appreciation of oneself. It's not selfishness or self-centeredness. It's an understanding of one's value without the validation of others. Um, just the intrinsic worth of who you are and putting time, energy, and effort into your own person. So, and that's beyond spa days and massages, okay? That's, that's believing in your dreams, um, having faith and courage in yourself. When you look into the mirror, loving what you see. This is the energy of kind of shedding the skin and realizing I'm, I'm kind of like tired of doing what's expected of me. I'm tired of, not tired, actually tired, but done. I'm done doing what's expected of me. I'm done doing things by the rules. It's not working out for me or it has worked out for me. Maybe it's worked out financially. Maybe it's worked out socially. But in terms of, um, but in terms of how you feel, a little bit uh, of almost like disassociation from who you really are. Interesting. Know your worth. 5 plus 4, 54 is the energy of this card. That's 9. 9 is something is coming to a head. So I bet you something happens this week that really makes you just want to like throw your hands into the air. And what is going on? All right, all right. Dream the world into being. This sort of phantom or phantom menace. <laughs> a shadow from the past or something that won't die. And it's sort of lingering in the back of you starting a new future. It could be those expectations that you have maybe on yourself or from other people, sort of that ghost of what you created still haunting you. All of these are in reverse. Learn from the past. 
Um, once again, it's like your past is coming back. It's almost like regurgitating, like acid reflux. It's 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 coming up. It's coming up. Look at this. Almost like the stomach, the fire, the esophagus. It's almost like there's something coming up from your belly, a fire in your belly that's burning you from the inside out. That's why I said acid reflux. And I would not be surprised if a lot of you were doing it. What's haunting you from the past could be physical, physical ailments that are coming up now. Um, physical basically areas physical manifestations of those things that you've repressed or suppressed or tried to bury deep inside of yourself so it could very well be tension and stress neck issues or um like i said like regurgitation almost this energy of like acid reflux uh whether it's literal or literal or spiritual there's a sense of something something coming up that was buried deep and impeding the progress or burning the progress of your future somehow um eight nine ten eleven this is awakening oh yeah awakening awakening to those things that um are uncomfortable for you it's an uncomfortable awakening uh this and that are true no this is not playing in the shallows this is going underneath it's almost like going undercover and digging deep um something that's buried way down way down in the past this could be sort of like some forensic audit that you're doing to your finances this could also be the energy of um, um, uh, like old hurts or like uh, almost hypnotherapy type of thing of things that you had forgotten that you'd buried so far down. You, you would need a psychologist or a psychiatrist to help sort of dig them out for you. But this is going underneath and scooping under the, the surface um, because something's, something's going on there that needs to be evacuated. Um, Squirrel, <clears throat> once again, a compromised sense of self. Believe in yourself. You don't really know that you want to plant these seeds where you are right now because you almost know that you're in the wrong place. It's a feeling of disassociation from where you are because you're disassociated from who you are and depending on how long you've disassociated from who you are. Now, like I said, you could be very accomplished. You could have achieved great things in your life, but there's a restlessness in your soul because it, there's, there's a lack of authenticity to it. There's a lack of, oh, but I had passion for this. A lot of times I find Capricorn and Aries both do the same thing. They have the same fatal flaw. If, um, a lot of them have the same fatal flaw and that is they'll achieve just for achievement's sake and they'll get off on winning, but they'll, but they'll lose themselves in the process because they'll never stop to think, well, did I actually love what I'm winning at? I'm putting all my time, all my effort, all my energy, all my focus. I'm like burning through the competition, but is it actually something that I love or was it just something that was put in front of me and presented to me? By my teachers or by parents who said, hey, you'd be good at this. And so I did it. And I never once thought, do I actually have compassion for it? This is that sense of uprooting, not feeling rooted, not feeling like you uh, like, yeah, not not feeling rooted in, in what you've done or the seeds that you've planted and now almost sort of upturning and, and not not only not believing in yourself, but almost not believing yourself, like looking at yourself. Who are you? type of energy and that's your central energy so this is a sense though there's like I said there's fire here there's action here so it's almost like upturning everything being willing to like literally flip your life on its end at this point because you don't care if you bring it all down Scorpio had a similar energy not too long ago um magic works through you but when it comes in reverse this is Cancerian energy it's magic works on you is that it's magic it's magic not working through you but it's magic magic working on you so um this is almost like i think trying to shed the skin of magic that was worked on you it, it could be literal magic but it doesn't have to be this is just that sense of instruction or manifestation that basically you have carried out for others it's almost like you have been molded in the image that others wanted you to be molded in but where is the image that you wanted it's like I, it's almost like trying to rip off your own skin because you it doesn't look it, it's not you it's not who you wanted there's, there's been this sort of awakening and revelation inside of you of what you really want in your life and you're really willing to deconstruct everything that you have in order to rebuild it in the image that you choose so this is sort of what energy that you're fighting against and then we have you see clearly now with owl spirit but it's also in reverse 
things are fuzzy, things are hazy, you almost feel blind, like you're bumping your butt around in the dark. That's probably because you're kept in the crypt. Like this is the only card that's upright, which is telling me that there is a, a shadow, there is a haunting, there is a something that won't let it let itself be dead. Um, it's this, it's like, uh, you know, that energy of, of um, that, that, like, um, yeah, ugh, that energy of that, that ghost form that sort of flits through the night, not just like the owl can look like a ghost fl uh, floating through the, the forest, right? There is that energy of um, what's haunting you, what's haunting your past, not being able to see, not being able to understand. Um, the information is fuzzy and hazy. You just know something's awry and something isn't right. That's Aquarius energy. And then we have be generous of spirit, lion energy, and it's once again in reverse, which is telling me that your sense of self has been compromised. Um, and it's because of all of this stuff that I do think that you forgot about. This is how deeply it was buried. This is how deeply these wants. It's almost like, like recessive, recessive, like not recessive. Um, I don't know the words. I'm sorry. I apologize. My words have been horrible. All Mercury retrograde. I don't mean to <laughs> like, um, I, want, I can't articulate it. I can't, I'm like, my mind is thinking it. My mouth can't say it. Um, so I apologize, but this is that, that sense of feeling drained, feeling, um, uh, vulnerable, but it's more than that. It's all, like, like I said, it's looking in the mirror and not knowing your own face or not recognizing it or not liking it. So there's a compromised sense of self here all over this reading. Really interesting that we get that in Pisces season. What is grounding Aries then? You may have gotten a visitor that came from the past, somebody that reminded you of a time in your life that you didn't really, somebody that reminded you of the time in your life that you let go of those aspects of yourself that uh, meant a lot to you and instead started to become those aspects that meant a lot to everybody else. And that could have like upended you. In that emotions, you're moving so quickly. You're moving like an atom bomb. Everything is explosive. So Aries, you don't necessarily set yourself on emotions or especially not tender emotions. And you, or you don't, of course you feel, but you don't let them get to you, right? But this has gotten to you. This has got, this is somebody or somebody's presence who would have gotten to you, who would have been the catalyst for putting away those childhood dreams and giving up on them and like kind of starting to become whatever was necessary or whatever was put in front of you. And there's a lot of anger here and there's a lot of sorrow and there's a lot of regret that's been coming up. This person, this person could have come out of the blue and they are a shady person too. They did compromise you. They did degrade you. Your grounding energy. Surrender now is, but it's, it was, it was wonky. So either way, this is energy of like a moth to a flame flying into the flame. So this could be you setting yourself on fire, or this could be you refusing to give up either way. It's sitting next to claim your independence, land on your feet, feel your sense of self. But this card is more than feeling your sense of self. It's allowing yourself permission to put yourself first, like a cat, right? That energy of a cat, of living in this moment, living in this present moment, never once, comp never once um, questioning how important what they need or what they want is. There's just this beautiful dexterity about them. They can move with life and, and agility. Um, there's this beautiful spring to their step. And then we have this time to collaborate. So it's claim your independence and time to collaborate. This is honestly burning the bridges of those old collaborations. This is your grounding energy of you don't need to collaborate. Realizing that you don't need to be a part of a group or even be accepted of a group or really starting to feel like a distance from a group or um, 
a profession or a, a person that you used to feel so close to. And at one point in your life, you used to identify yourself with this person. It's almost like your identity was assigned to this person. So it could have been a spouse, an ex. It could have been um, your mother or father, this group of people, this how you put me together, you pieced me together. And I don't, I don't accept that. I don't accept that image that you puzzle pieced together anymore. I'm putting myself together, forming myself in my own image based on those old dreams, this beautiful awakening, this beautiful pain, I have to say, that's what it is. Beautiful pain that sort of awakens you to remember who you put to sleep to have an easier life. Let me flip the camera angle around so we can review the cards. Bam, there you go. A lot of wonkiness. So in other words, this is the path. This is the way. And this is the central energy of losing yourself or upturning yourself and deciding to not like not even believing who you are. Forget about believing in yourself. Like, who am I? That's the big question this week. Who am I? Um, and basically making it a decision that you have to up, uproot all of those, of those seeds that you've planted because they were somebody else's seeds or they were seeds that were going to manifest somebody else's design. And that's exactly what you did not want. Now, you're shooting in the dark here. You are because your sense of self has been completely compromised. You could have, this is Aquarius energy, but this could be like, you know, a very manipulative person, somebody very deconstructive and cutting somebody who made you feel like you were lesser than. And so you lived up to their dreams or you lived up to their expectations or changed yourself in their image in order to feel accomplished. But it, you realize now it was based on their criteria instead of the criteria of just goodness and what makes you happy. And you're done. You're kind of shedding your skin of I'm tired of hiding myself and drowning myself in this perfume when I'm really this. And maybe I'm not as beautiful and maybe I'm not as perfect, but you know what? Ultimately, I don't have to be. This is hashtag. This is me. I'm claiming my independence. I'm letting this, this collaboration and the pieces that other people put together, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it burn, burn down. Um, and now we're going to go into the full extended reading. Extended reading will basically unearth where you're headed, where you're going, um, and maybe articulate a little bit more about this individual or circumstance that bought all these feelings up, their motivation, etc. And then, of course, it will include your romance reading too. Aries, that link is below. I will see you over there.